Hi, uh, this is a short video today, simple video. As you can see, we've got two seven sigma displays here. And what we're going to do is, as soon as there's no dirt sheet for these, we're going to find out the pinout. Now, a lot of electronics hobbyists watch my YouTube videos, and as electronics hobbyists do, rather than buy components, or often salvage components from electrical points such as washing machines, DVD players, etc. Now, I know most LED modules do have dirt sheets, but some of them can be proprietary, or very old in these, in this case. So, what I want to do is use these for a project, so we need to find the pinout. So, first of all, we just need to just do a small diagram. Let's have a look at that. And the decimal point there. So, your segments are labeled A, B, C, D, E, F. And finally G. Now this module has got five pins on each side, so the save pins one at the bottom, five, six and ten. Right, so next we just need to just do a quick diagram. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's very simple stuff, this uh that wouldn't be for people that Regular viewers that have obviously got more experience with this is in the obvious. So what we need to do is get a bench power supply set to two and a half volts. The current limit of twenty milliamps. And then what we need to do is pull the module out. This one needs to determine its common anode, common anode or common cathode. So we'll put the anode on one pin, and then slowly go across all the others and see if any LED is light. You've got current there. Yep. Yep. So do that in turn until we get an LED that lights. Okay, so we determine that LED lights when the adode is on pin 5. So you've got your cathodes on each pin like that's so pin 1. So you can see that's obvious, this is obviously a common anode display because pin 5 is the common anode pin, so if you touch on all the other pins and you get LEDs to light. So we can determine that pin 5 is common anode. You just go across all the other pins with a cathode like that. So that's segment A, B, C, A, B, C, D. Is that segment E? Pin 2. Segment D, pin 3, segment C, pin 4, decimal point, pin 6 is B, pin 7 is A, and Eight is G. Finally, nine, uh, which was missing F. And then pin ten. Yep, that shorts the power supply out. So that's also a common anode. So uh, dead simple. That's that display mapped. Now I'll just connect one of the segments up and try and determine its forward operating voltage. You can do it with a meter, but not all meters. But enough current through to light the LEDs, but you will be able to see what voltage drop you've got on it. Now that's drawing 18 milliamps at 2.05 volts. So if I increase the voltage on this... 18, oh, 18 milliamps, and that's uh, yeah, 2 volts. So what I can do on there is get voltage in the meter. In diode test mode, put that on the anode. Not on any of the cathodes. Yeah, so it's forward operating voltage of 1.7 volts. That was near as damn it. It's right in the middle, so you probably 1.7 to 1.8 volts. So yeah, that's dead simple. 
Next thing we'll move on to something a bit more complicated, which is more likely that an obvious salvage a display from a washing machine. Right, so in this video I've got the control panel from a washing machine. So I've recently disposed of my old one. So this is the uh, control panel which I thought I'd pull out and see if I can sell on eBay as a spare part. It didn't sell so what we're going to do is set this LED display off and see if we can map its pins. Okay, so the display is now removed from the circuit board. See, it's got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So it's got 20 pins. So I think what we'll do in this case is we'll go one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 12, 13, 15, 16, 19, 20. Now what's common with these sort of displays is you have you come eight segments and the symbols will actually be classed as another digit. That's typically common with these sort of displays. So you might have that as digit one, digit two, digit three, digit four, digit five, six, then the other symbols are seven. So what we're going to do is figure that out now. So put the power supply on. 2.5 volts at 20 million. 20 million current limit. I'll put an node on pin one. Let's see what happens. Just make sure the output's on. No, it isn't. So, so if anything works. I've uh, got nothing lighting so far, so that's obviously not. Okay. Usually the opposite end been two. Just quickly go across until I get the LED to light. That's none of the bottom pins. Run no, that no, or a cathode. Let's try the top row. with me. Okay, so I'm not getting any of these LEDs to lights at all, so I would assume that this might have some current limiter resistors built into it. So what I'm going to do is increase the voltage of my power supply to 5 volts. Generally, we've not seen that happen before, but still 20 million current limit. Then we'll try again at 5 volts. Right, we have a success. It would be a common anode display. We've got this on pin 20, anode on pin 20. And going across the other pins makes the symbols light, as you can see. It's currently yeah, that's why the LEDs, blue LEDs have got forward voltage of 2.85 volts. That's why it wouldn't light at 2.5. So that is that's a bit of a strange configuration. Hmm. So definitely, it's, like, oh, it's touching two pins, that's why. So let's have a look. Right, so that's an anode. And that's digit, we'll call that digit 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's anode digit 4. So work out here, so now we've got cathode on pin 2, so that's segment G. 3, 3, segment F. 4, segment D. All right, here's the thing to do, just to start again. So pin one, nothing, two is G. 
three is F for E and a D pin nine there, so, so that's a C B yeah. Pin 9 is obviously a cathode, obviously an anode. So let's try a bit of a strange one. This chances are you might not want to use those anyway, but so I'll just prove that point by anode is pin 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 8, 7, 8, 15. And you probably get the rest of these lighting up. Yeah, you do. And it's also. If, so you've got your colon on there as well. Yeah. So pin one, two, three, four, five. Five is also the colon then. Yeah, this is um it's gonna be difficult to drive this display. Yeah, as you can see, and then digit one. Yeah, there you go. That's a bar graph on that one. So that's a bar graph. So that's right on segment of the bar graph. I'll just put in here B graph. So, yes, but. You can see that it's lighting these. You get the idea anyway. You can see that it's what it's doing. You, you get the general idea what I'm trying to tell you without me going into all the detail. Because obviously some of these pins are shared. I mean uh, like pin 8 is G but it's also A of digit 1 which doesn't make any sense. I've done it wrong now, don't I? Eight is also if you look at yeah, pin seven, so you could pin eight is actually a yeah, that one yeah that one makes sense, as you can see there. That's an A. So that one makes sense. B. So that that makes sense. And the other pins now we've got 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, that's probably an android. Uh, sort this round. Yeah. Yes, but yeah, you get what I'm trying to tell you. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to waffle on about it. So it could take quite some time to figure out the exact pin out on this display. But on this little diagram that I've done, yeah, you can at least use some of the segments. I mean, these these are also these are all anodes. So these are all these are all simple anodes. So that likes it more. So these are all these are all anodes. Fear of the digits. As is that one. So you've got so basically what you've got here by the look of it is all the bottom pins are segment pins, so there's eight pins on the bottom. Two sort of nine pins. So there are your segment pins. And there are your anode pins. And it's a common anode display, so yeah. I hope that explains something. I should have chosen something a bit more simple, but never mind. But you get some idea that the hobbyist might pull this sort of thing out of a washing machine and want to use it for something. We should be able to make some use out of it. I'm not going to use it, obviously, but it just proves the point, doesn't it? Right, thanks for watching.